you see that 12 bit which that's the page itself right all what the what the kernel does is actually just eats up the nine bits from level one and then having 21 bits for the page itself so you have now pages 2 to power 21 which is two megabytes pages and that's called a huge pages so that you eat another level so you work with three levels and instead of four and you have a, a bigger page in this step processes will use maybe 10 percent of their memory and that's what the kernel guys bet on they bet on the fact that because processes are sparse they only allocate a little bit of memory why am I looking in 512 gigabyte at once? Let's spread it. That's where multi-level paging came into the picture. So now, and instead of having a single level page where we have a massive 36 bit with a single table to do the mapping, what those guys did, they broke this into four level. That 36 bit, the same thing, they broke it into four levels. First level, nine bit, nine bit, nine bit, nine bit, because nine times four is 36. They said, wow. And this is what we're gonna do. You guys might be a few life data, data structures. This is a very interesting data structure called the Redix tree or the root tree. That essentially is just using the key which is the virtual address and splitting it and having us navigate through the game through that. So now if I have virtual address zero, the first, the let's, let's say I start with level four is the, is the top left, the left most left, then level three, then level two, level one, and then the actual uh, essentially the page address and then the 12 bit will tell us exactly which offset address you actually are interested in right once you land into that physical page that you loaded all right so now let's say i i'm a new process i just i was created i'm just i want to write to the first address i want to write a single byte to a virtual address zero all right if you if you actually split this into the bits bit set level four will be zero level three will be zero level two will be zero level one will be zero and the actual 12-bit offset in the page will also be zero right so what are we gonna what, what what are we gonna do that every single level will have its own table and that in in every table we're gonna load the entire table just for that entry that we're interested in two to the power nine is not large it's just four five hundred and twelve and if you multiply two to the power nine times eight you get only four kilobyte guess what it's a magic number that four, four kilobyte is a magic number that's going to show up in the kernel all the time sweet so now back to our stuff okay zero yeah. the mmu will have a pointer to the first root level which is uh, level four and that it says all right what, what what i have i have a pointer to this level four which entry do you want i want entry zero right okay because that's level four is zero so now we go to the back to the zero i try to read the value and there is nothing there because we this is this is a new process it didn't read anything so there is a bit that's set here, one of these bits set that says present. And if present is zero, the CPU will raise a page fault. And I talked about page faults in this uh, video. Check it out, this podcast. Essentially, it will raise a page fault and it says, hey, kernel, something's not right. I don't see the data here. Deal with it. Load it for me. So the kernel switches back and and it, it impersonates the user process switches and start loading the data oh as users try to access the address zero okay zero is um, the level zero is not set so let me allocate level three because level four is always there right level three let me allocate that 
I'm going to allocate a page for level three for for uh, for level where, <laughs> where the page is zero, level threes, right? And uh, this is by the way called page directory pointer. The naming is so it's it's just like going through the naming is just so uh, tedious to speak to. So I thought maybe level three and level four is easier to talk to. But yeah, essentially it's called this page directory uh, pointer table. So now the kernel allocates that and then updates the physical address of the page that it just located with that. So now we allocated what? Four kilobyte and four kilobytes. So that's eight kilobytes. So the kernel continues now to try to load it. All right. Uh, what does the user want next? Oh, level, level three, zero. Okay, zero. Then, all right, let's take that physical address. Let's add zero to it. Well, the first entry, all right, there is nothing there. Let's load another level, level two. And then let's point that point physical address to level two. And now we have physical address level two. Now we have level level two loaded for the first position. Same thing. What does the user want for level two? Oh, it's also zero because it's zero, zero, zero. That's the same game. Load another 4K page. Point level two to level one. And then we have a full chain. How many did we load? We load we loaded four, uh, 16 kilobytes so far. And remember, I, I'm, I just wanted to insert a single byte now, but we loaded 16 kilobytes, right? And I know it looks bad, but trust me, usually it, when you allocate a little bit bytes, uh, <laughs> it's not a good idea because uh, it, it only becomes viable if you allocate a little bit more bytes. But yeah, so... All of these bytes were allocated because it's all live in the same page so far. So the final thing we need to do is like the actual offset page. All right. So what's the page? Page zero. Level one value is actually uh, is also zero. Okay. So that means zero, 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 zero. That means let's load the actual page. That's the that the data now. We load it somewhere in memory, physical memory again here. And now we point the physical address of level one, which is the actual page table name, right? All the way to the actual physical pointer. And now, okay, I have a page, but which byte are you interested in this page? Which byte are you interested in this page? There are 4,096 bytes, two to the power 12, right? Well, I'm interested in byte zero. Where did I get this zero from? from the last offset, the 12th bit, because it's literally 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? So now I write the page or and I write value 0, and of course everything else will be 0 now, I think. Okay? Now the process writes, let's say I want to write to address number 0, 1, let's say, right? Address number 1, which is literally the next one. So if you look at the levels, the address, Level 4 is 0, level 3 is 0, level 2 is 0, level 1 is also 0, and the offset is just 1. Guess what? The CPU now doesn't need to raise a page fault because it will go, so the CPU will go to the, uh, to the level 4, and then guess what? The page is already there because there is no need for a page fault because the bet for a present is set for 1 now. Really, we'll, we'll walk it now. The CPU will walk it to the next level, level three. Then walk it to the level two. It's already also present. Walk it to level one. Walk it. Okay, level one, I have a page and it's present. Let's actually go and to the page. Oh, well, which offset is, is, is the user interested in? Offset number one. So that's the second byte. And so on. You can see it. You can do this for free, essentially, without a page fault up until byte 4095, right? Once we increase that, that's it. You cannot go beyond that. Because remember, that's only 12 bits. So we, have, we, need, we need to reset. The second address, will that, that offset will be zero, and the level one will become one, and so on. Now... We have allocated so far, if you think about it, if you look at everything, we allocated 20 kilobytes, right? Four times four and the actual four, right? So that's five times four. That's 20 kilobytes. That's to, 
to to actually do that that actual stuff four kilobytes hour data 16 is the overhead so if the moment i jump into the second level i need to look at another for four kilobyte for the level one but then what, what will happen is uh, we're still in the same level three right level three zero and that's the game we're playing in the in the kernel it's really hard to follow but it's fascinating if you think about it guys all what we did is just delayed the inevitable and we're betting on the fact that processes will not allocate all of the data if you go and actually load every single page and every single every single address let's say theoretically you load everything then you will technically use 512 gigabytes per process but that's not possible because the kernel will not let you do that and you you will it, it's just a, a process will never ever get there because it will never uh, reuse all of its memory right but if it did then it will have to it have to allocate all these pages right theoretically it's not uh, theoretically you can do it but the kernel will not let you because essentially the kernel will say hey, all right i'm gonna free up some pages it can do that right and it, it will just re release some pages from memory okay le level three for position number seven i'm gonna remove it level four for position number 500 i'm gonna release it and it will set the, p the present uh, page to zero so that the cpu will raise a page fault and then the kernel can reload it again of course things gonna get slower but yeah you can see the idea right so we just delayed the game and that's uh, that's essentially what uh, multi-page uh, multi-level paging is about it's just fascinating if you actually think about it this is so much <laughs> there's so much going on there guys and uh all CPUs, by the way, support this now. The CPU actually understand how to walk the levels. And it, it, it expects certain bit sets. And I'm going to put it in the screen. Like the bit set. Like some of bits are like, all right, this is present. Or this page is actually read and write. This page is actually only read only. Or this page, you cannot execute from this page. Right? If you read this, it's a read only and not executable. Right? And that saves us a lot. By, by having marking pages as not executable in x we avoided uh, the, the tragic problems of buffer overflow attacks right because you no longer can just override the stack and then write code and have the return pointer point to the same stack and have the cpu executed because the stack is not executable pages are located from the stack is not executable so you cannot do that all right so that's so that's page tables in a nutshell right it's the idea of just i walked you through an example of page tables but you know page tables are the pages that we allocate by default are four kilobytes right but if you think about it there's also this feature that's called huge tables in linux and you know how it works you see that 12 bit that we talked about which that's the page itself right all with the uh what what the what the kernel does is actually just eats up the nine bits from level one and then having 12 plus 9 21 bits for the page itself so you have now pages 2 to power 21 which is two megabytes pages and that's called a huge pages so that you eat another level so you work with three levels and instead of four and you have a, a bigger page instead right so if you allocate a single byte you get two megabytes instead of four kilobytes right so that's the the page the huge table the idea or the huge sort of huge pages uh concept in, in the linux kernel at least right so it's a game we play and the cpu also has to support this by the not only the kernel remember because the cpu is doing the translation through the mmu so if i'm if i'm walking this chain i need to know when to stop and uh, there is essentially a bit one of these bits that you read as, as you're walking you're reading this physical address uh we're, remember we're using only 52 or 48 bits the rest of them are just these control bits right so like all right oh this page is actually the page you're gonna about to read is actually two megabytes it's gonna tell the cpu will know 
the kernel tells the CPU. So imagine just how the kernel and the CPU dances to do all this stuff. 